The notice that many of you have is not more than 6 to 12 hours. And I can see probably about 2 to 3 thousand people here. And you then imagine what will happen if we give you the new notice. Now, it's not for you. The minister that commissioned the project on behalf of the president could also not hold back his expression of fulfillment, accomplishment, and joy as he rendered the goodwill message of Mr. President, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, to the mammoth crowd at Ota, Ogun State. This historic event of the commissioning of the Sango Ota Bridge, which has been pending for the last eight years. The history has been clearly stated in the brochures that we all have. So going through the history, well documented before you. Suffice to say, with reference to KBC's speech, clearly this is an economic infrastructure, piece of infrastructure, very important to the life wire of this local government, to open states and to Nigeria. Driving from Abelkuta on the expressway, we have reached the bridgehead. We have seen the number of industries and factories on both sides of the expressway. The logistics for goods and services and raw materials to come in and out of these factories and industries is extremely important. This determines the levels of efficiencies of not just the industrial use, it also facilitates the movement of people and goods and services across in and out of Lagos State and open states. The minister whose name and office is inscribed on the plaque on the bridge thereafter cut the tape to declare the bridge open at about five in the evening. And all our royal fathers, we stand before you, we stand before God Almighty. In his grace and his compassion, he has allowed us all to witness this great edifice. And for the benefit of the Almighty and the people of this great state, we cut and declare this bridge open. Up to this end, the whole atmosphere had been one filled with excitement, joy, laughter, and dancing, until the late arrival of the speaker, Dimeji Bankole. The speaker on arrival went straight to the coastal bus of the government of Ogun State that was occupied by the governor, Otunbagwinga Daniel, the two federal ministers of works, Senator Sanusi Dagash and Engineer Chris Ogenwuye, and other state functionaries. Then, the whole atmosphere became changed as a speaker threw caution into the winds by forcing his way into the bus, not minding the dignity that goes with the office of a speaker 
of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the number four citizen of the most populous black nation in the whole world. <laughs> As if that was not shameful enough, the number four citizen went as far as ignoring all the seats in the 30-seater bus and chose to sit on the dashboard of the bus to wrestle with the driver in order to get the bus key. For a purpose not known to all occupants of the bus, but only to the speaker, Honorable Dimeji Banko who was cladded in his traditional white clothing. <laughs> After about 20 minutes show of naked power by Honorable Dimitri Bamkole within and outside the bus, he finally disembarked from the bus and left for a press conference in Lagos where he was reported to have said that It is therefore very important to ask our Honorable Speaker, Dimeji Bankole, if the dashboard was the most honorable and dignified place to sit in a 30-seater bus with less than 15 occupants to have a discussion with the governor of his own state. <laughs> 